Morning, I'm Steven Sprinkle. This is Morning Bit. Let's get to it. Top three things I think are important today for Bitcoin. The first of which is the global trek by a couple out of Utah, um, specifically Provo, Utah, where they went around the world in a little over 100 days just using Bitcoin. I think this is huge news for Bitcoin because what it does is it brings a level of, of realness to the currency to a number of people who are kind of sitting the fence or just starting to learn about Bitcoin. Thus far in my discussions, the biggest barrier for a number of people has been that it's a digital currency that really doesn't have real world value. And I think this shows clearly that Bitcoin can be used in a physically transactable way to get physical goods and services. The second thing I think is really important for Bitcoin today is the discussion around potentially redenominating Bitcoin from simply BTC to MBTC, which is milli BTC. And basically what that does is there's eight decimal places in the denomination of Bitcoin, and that brings it back, uh, brings it back three decimal places. Um, so basically you get down to a level where somebody coming in with just $300 or so would get a number of milli BTCs back instead of just getting a fraction of a BTC. And that's a big psychological barrier for a number of people. As I've been discussing with people about buying into Bitcoin, that's another one of the, the, the hang up points for them is that they can't get necessarily a whole BTC or or they give a whole lot of US dollar but they don't get a lot of Bitcoin back. So that's a psychological barrier that I think that potentially would break down. Uh, the third thing that I think is really important today and continuing in the same vein of discussion that I've been having throughout all of these videos is anonymity with Bitcoin. Um, and specifically there's a new protocol coming out called ZeroCoin which basically allows you to anonymize your Bitcoins once it's in the blockchain. Um, and it's really exciting because there's not a lot of ways, at least inside the United States, to be able to easily go into Bitcoin anonymously. So what ZeroCoin would allow you to do is once you get into Bitcoin, you can anonymize the Bitcoins and then freely use them without worry of, uh, or as much of a worry about your identity being given up as you're doing the various transactions that you want to do. So that's what I think is important today for Bitcoin. I hope everybody's having a great day and enjoying the ride with Bitcoin. I'll see you guys tomorrow.